10 days. We have 10 days to the government shut down. 10 days. And what is America doing right now over in the Congress and the House and in the Senate? Republicans are fighting amongst each other. Democrats are sitting back watching, but not agreeing with some of the Republicans. Joe Biden basically sucked Vladimir, Vladimir Zelensky's ass yesterday. Claiming that we're going to always stand behind Ukraine no matter how long this war is. Okay, with Russia. All of this in the midst of a shutdown. America is fucking pathetic. Because we elected these assholes to do a job. Interest rates is high. They, 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 they're going to raise them again. They're going to raise them. The Federal Reserve, they're going to raise it again. Okay. This month alone, me and my wife have spent on food from various stores, from Walmart, BJ's, even Publix. We don't spend over twelve hundred dollars in groceries because I eat a lot. I mean, come on now, I'm, I'm gaining more muscle. I'm still training, just not to. Well, I normally do because I'm still nursing the injury. Uh, I have a while. I, I talked to the guy that did my MRI. These muscles in my back is gonna take a few months to recover. My Renee's muscle. He did confirm that this one is tore, but they're they're painless. They're just weakness. They're just tore. It's gonna take a while to heal. So I can't confirm that. Uh, my neck is just as bad as it was next ray so I just got to go to a chiropractor and let them reset my spine over time. But other than that, he told me not to train too hard, not to do no heavy lifting for at least six months on my back. So that means no squatting, no heavy weight, no deadlift, no heavy weight. All right? But that's besides the point. Point is, though, I eat a lot. My, my kids eat a lot. And my wife, we eat. We eat here. But for the amount of money you have to spend for groceries, okay, you're not getting the amount of food that you need that can last you a month or two. So therefore, you're constantly going back to the store, which is why I'm going to do another garden in the backyard. Gas prices. Brian Kemp just put the Georgia gas tax back off. He's going to suspend the gas tax so we can get some type of release at the motherfucking pump. Gas is high. I have to run 93, 91, 93 only. I, I'm supercharged. You guys know the deal. If it's 91, put some octane booster in there. And then sometimes you get bad 93, so guess what? You got to put some octane booster in there. That's expensive. My wife has a 2020 Dodge Durango, 2021 Dodge Durango RT. Hear me. Prefer 89, that's plus. But we run 91, 93 in that bitch because we ain't got no 89 out here. Well, we do have 89, but it's not worth it. Everything is high. It costs more to have lights turned on in your house. Water bill, everything is high. We're going to give Ukraine money every month until this war is over with. We're going to keep putting sanctions on Russia with the oil and shit because we don't want to, we, you know, we can't just let our oil reserves go. So, you know, so yeah, it's going to stay high. Fuck Ping Jinping over in China, you know. We fuck him, the trade and food. We put sales on China. So, parts for cars and shit's high. Export to goods and shit's high. All because Joe Biden couldn't mind his business and stay out of Ukraine's business, stay out of Putin's business, and China's business. And worry about America first. Not saying that him not helping Ukraine was a problem. What I'm saying is, help Ukraine two or three times, then get the fuck out of there. Like, hey, dude, my country, I'm in so much debt. I need to work on getting my country back out of debt. So here's a one-time payment of 10 bill, all right? You have fun with that. I got to keep my line up with Putin with this gas. And I got to keep my trades going on with China. We told you to join NATO. You said fuck us. So 
I wish you well. Here's 10 bill, some weapons. I did my part. I got a country to run. And put all put all my time on Congress in America. Because guess what, guys? If we don't get all these old motherfuckers out of Congress, it's going to be worse. I just watched Jim Jordan them and up drilling the Attorney General of the United States about what's going on on January 6th. They, they, two years ago. Proud Boys being locked up. They call them the lockup boys now. And they still harping on the fact that charges were brought against Donald Trump from January 6th. Here's a news flash. Donald Trump isn't going to go to jail for January 6th. There are two cases to keep an eye on. Those documents he took from the White House and here in Georgia. Them other cases don't even matter. The tax fraud shit, they're going to find them. Trump going to pay that money. The January 6th shit, Trump didn't outright tell them proud boys storm the goddamn Capitol. He might have riled them up, but he didn't say storm the Capitol. You can't, you can't charge him for that. He didn't say storm. He didn't say go try to kill Mike Pence and fucking raid Nancy Pelosi's office. Y'all wasting your time. This is why the Democrats lost the House. This is why. And then Nancy Pelosi want her job back. The same person that cost Democrats the House want her job back. Because all she did was harp on Trump. Her and Chuck Schumer and everybody else in that motherfucker. And still worrying about the American people. We elected you motherfuckers to do a job. That, that's, that's what we did. We elected you motherfuckers to do a job. You're not doing your job. And you have old people that are stuck in their ways. The Democrats won't give to Republicans unless they get some in a deal. The Republicans won't, won't, won't bow to the Democrats unless they get something in the deal. You know that pit poor crow shit? Eye for eye, favor for favor. I rub your back, you rub my back. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. That shit. At the same time, you got Kevin McCarthy, the House Speaker, opening up an impeachment on Donald, uh, not Donald Trump, on Joe Biden. I want you guys to tell me besides Joe Biden giving all the money to Ukraine, what serious crime has Joe Biden committed? His son might be in, in some fucking shit. But what has Joe Biden done directly to have them do impeachment? Kevin McCarthy's doing that because that was the deal that him and he made the Republicans to get elected as House Speaker last year. So the Republicans want him to cash in on his on his promise. Here's the problem, though. That's wasting taxpayers' money, and that's wasting time in the House that y'all could be doing to work up a bill to save Congress, to save the government, to fund the government. Federal police officers, law enforcement officials, right? That means Secret Service, CIA, FBI, the ATF, Homeland Security, and active duty military won't get paid. They won't get paid. They be working for free. And a government worker be working for free. Y'all sit up there going, well, we need to do this. No, you don't. You, what, what is impeaching Biden going to do for the country? He's going to get impeached in the House, but not the Senate. The Democrats control the Senate. So you're not going to impeach him in the Senate. It's the same as that shit with Donald Trump. You're going to impeach him in the House. Only to survive the Senate. It's a waste of fucking time. If, if you don't have the, the majority of the House, they do have. But if you ain't got the majority of the Senate, you're not going to get the votes you need. Now, now, if the Democrats would have had, say, 60-some seats in the fucking Senate, or they like the majority of the Senate, like they like the House, they had, then Trump would have, he wouldn't have had no job. He would have been ousted, locked up already. So Joe Biden, this ain't going to go nowhere. It's going to pass the House, maybe, and then get to the Senate and then get thrown the fuck out. All that time wasted for nothing. I don't understand how dumb can y'all be up in Congress. 
And then we elect you motherfuckers to do a job and y'all can't even do a simple job. Y'all can't come together and say, you know what, America first, guys. Let's negotiate on a, on a good bill for the American people. Hey, we need, fuck Ukraine. We're going we gonna to take this bill out. Fuck what Biden won't. Fuck Ukraine. Let's take some of this money and put back towards some uh, security for schools. Um, more pay for workers that's busting their ass because, you know, interest high as fuck. Let's put money back into uh, gun reform. You know, we need some stricter laws there. Not saying not to have a gun, but we need some stricter laws there, stricter penalties. Let's do that shit. No, we don't want to give Democrats nothing because Democrats won't give Republicans nothing. Republicans won't give fuck all that shit. That's why America isn't changing. It's regressing. It's regressing. I don't give a fuck about how many jobs are made because a lot of niggas won't go to work. Women going to work, but men have got to be men. I, and I'm working on a video about that probably tomorrow. Plan the live stream tomorrow too. But I got I got a video for you fucking weak, pathetic ass men out there that have forgot how to be fucking men. Okay. You're 40 years old, buying blow up dolls, cause you're you 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 pissed off at women. And you wonder why women don't want to fuck with men. I I explain that tomorrow in detail. Fucking simp bitches. Anyway. I'm going to say something off of here. I think Joe Biden should run for re-election, but he is. I voted for Joe Biden. I'm not voting for him this election cycle. I think Donald Trump shouldn't be running because it's a distraction. And if you get, if you get elected, I fear that somebody's going to legitimately try to kill Donald Trump. And I'm saying that because of all of the shit that this last few years done caused from the January 6th, from all the election fraud that they saying was, was going on. To all the shit that's going on now, to everybody that's being locked up behind Trump, to all the chaos. There are a lot of people that still want Trump to be elected, but there's a lot more people that, that don't want Trump back in office. Period. His own kids don't want him to go back in the White House. Right? There's a lot of bad stigma there. But at the same time, Joe Biden ain't strong candidate either because he's just too damn nice. And he wants to give everything away. I, I'm going out putting money back into the economy only to have a lot of go to Ukraine. And then he talking about getting in Taiwan's business with China? Are you kidding me right now? We have a beastly epidemic going on, but we're going to worry about China and shit and fucking Taiwan and fucking Ukraine. We can't fight all those motherfucking wars. We can't, we can't fight all those fucking wars. And not at all. And so uh, Joe Biden need to be removed from office. All right. Lose the election. And for sure, Kamala Harris don't need to be running for election. What have, what, what have Kamala Harris been doing? I know her job is to play second field to, to, to Joe Biden, but name one thing that, that Kamala's really been doing. Every time you see Kamala Harris, she's standing just like this here. She'll give a speech here or there, but what is she doing in the house? She's over the house. What is she doing in the house right now? Women out there, can you answer this for me? So she shouldn't run for president. Period. I don't see any Democrat right now that appeases me. And I don't see no Republican right now that appeases me that want me to vote for Republican either. So this might be the first time in a while that I just won't vote in the election. And if I'm not going to vote, now I ain't going to say shit about America next year. I'm saying everything now because it's, 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 it's going to hell, guys. It's going to hell bad. They want everything to go electric. For what? All that free power in the sky, that sun up there, for daylight, that we can use for daylight. And then we got the moonlight too, that we can use for nighttime light. We got the night lights. All right. And we have gas powered cars that you can make fuel healthier. For the ozone, but it might cut down on the power the car might produce. So that's fine. That's what tuning's for. That's that's fine. But you don't want to do that because you lose money. So we'll just go electric. And some electric cars are expensive as fuck. We can't afford that. This economy can't afford everything to go electric. So make hybrid cars. Hybrid is better than all electric. 
Anybody ever seen a C8 Corvette with the electric motor in front, gas in the, in the rear? I mean, hybrid cars. Let's just do hybrid. Because until you can get a vehicle that can charge without having to stop at a charging station and charge for six fucking hours, right, to get a full battery, if you can make a car that can recharge while driving because you're using the sun power to just constantly charge that battery, you know, like an alt they use the belt just to keep the battery charged in your fucking car, then you're wasting my time. You, you're wasting my fucking time. If I get, if I use Tesla, for example, right, the Lucid, whatever the fuck that car called, and stump it two or three times, I, I lost all my power. I can't go full power for a while unless I charge the battery up. That, 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 all that money for that, a little bit of fun. But that's the government. Everybody want to be AI. Artificial intelligence. We, we going to be ousted by robots and think that we can still make money. And we want robots to work, do all the work. We are looking at the beginning of the end for humanity. They want robots to come in and start doing everything right now. I'm, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. They just have Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, well not Jeff Bezos, uh, Elon Musk, and a few other guys up there in Congress last week talking about AI, artificial intelligence, and all this motherfucking shit. They want cars that can fly themselves. You just riding, motherfucker. Taking, taking over the Uber job, you know, that human beings are driving people around. So, if the computer take all the jobs, then why should Americans get paid? We have gotten lazy as Americans. Just go back 30 years ago, but everybody was working. Everybody was doing something. Even the drug guys in the streets was working right there on the cone. You knew you were working the cone. Working the cone hard than motherfucker. Look now. OnlyFans. Strippers now can just turn on the phone and throw porn on OnlyFans and make millions. Don't have to leave their fucking house. Got it easy. I can turn on YouTube like I'm doing right now. Make about six videos a week and get paid once my time get monetized. Which it is by making no money. But the point is, people done got lazy. Don't want to work. All these jobs being being made, but don't nobody want to work because technology has made us soft. You got people in Congress since we ain't put no pressure on their ass. They don't care about the people no more. It's about the party. It's about the party. It's not about the people no more, guys. Because we don't forgot how to be Americans and go up there and rally outside the Capitol, outside the House and all that shit up there. To let our voices be heard in a, in a serious, peaceful protest. We don't forgot to go up there and cause a little bit of, to take a John Lewis line, good trouble. We done got away from that shit up in Congress. Now is I go on Twitter and bitch. Now, we start going up there, white, black, Asian, Caucasian, telling them motherfucker, we put you in here, we gonna vote you out. Do your fucking job. We don't censor ourselves. If we call somebody gay because they gay, we're homophobes. People want to sue you just for doing that type of shit. This is America now. We don't got soft. I'm, I'm just going to be blunt. We don't got soft, guys. More people getting fat, lazy, don't want to cook. Kids don't know shit. Kids don't know how to go outside and cut grass. I say it all the time. Men don't got to be men, and women are slowly taking over because men don't want to work, don't want to pay no bills. Women got to work. They're trying to survive. The, the roles are changing, and you are seeing it with your own eyes. I'm going to keep working these hard hands of mine, doing what I got to do to be a man, but at the end of the day, guys, America's not going to change. Let me do two things. Vote for a whole new House and Senate. Put a retirement age that is mandatory in the House and Senate, which is in Congress. Have a age restriction on presidents as well. And we need to put America first. Until we can fix priorities here at home, we shouldn't be trying to help everybody else. Period. Period.
period. And that's all I got to say about that. So, to you motherfuckers up in Congress that might watch this video, get off your motherfucking asses and do something. Mitch McConnell, retire. You up there can't even open your mouth half the time. Diane Feinstein is on death's door, literally and figuratively. And Nancy Pelosi need to be going home and sit down with sit down her husband. She up a guy, he didn't got his brain smashed in last year. Bernie Sanders, just Chris Christie, you obese as fuck. You need the last thing you need to do is take a stressful job like being the president of the United States. Go lose weight. Let the let the young guys and women in their thirties and forties coming in out you know out of college, late twenties and thirties, run this country. Let's see what they can do. It may be some decent change there. Instead of being stuck in y'all old ass ways. Yes, men and yes, women sucking each other off and then complaining like females to one another. Y'all enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, man. Gonna go train legs and walk for an hour. Because no, health is wealth. That should also be on America's top priority list. You guys, don't forget what COVID just did. And how many Americans died from COVID. And how many of them were fat asses. Talk to you guys later, guys. Peace.